Welcome everyone. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Linux Mint 15, specifically the XFCE edition. So this is Linux Mint 15 Livia. This was released uh, about uh, last week, so I saw that uh, it popped up on DistroWatch. And in fact, uh, Linux Mint 15 KDE is also available if you're more of a uh, KDE fan. So you can go and find more information about it at linuxmint.com, the Linux Mint blog, and uh, you could check out the release notes for Linux Mint XFCE. It's based off of uh, Ubuntu Ring Ringtail, which is uh, Ubuntu 13.04. Uh, so whatever flaws you might run into with Ubuntu 13.04, you could potentially run into the same flaws with Linux Mint. Although um, I'm specifically talking about uh, kernel flaws. Most of the uh, uh, desktop environment is uh, customized to the point where if you're running into any problems they're probably been fixed. So let's take a quick look at some of the new features. The coolest of the new features is this whisker menu. Now this whisker menu is very much like the uh, menu with the cinnamon edition except that of course you're running XFCE so it's lower on resources so you can go through here and look at recently used applications all applications which would Im include everything I'm gonna assume that HTOP is here although I may have not installed it no I haven't you can go through and look at the categories of every um, application see what's available I added audacity in case I need to do some audio editing here one thing I noticed, which is really nice, is that basically the theming in um, Linux Mint is amazing. Uh, for instance, check out these icons. With the exception of this icon here on the left, everything in the Linux Mint theme uh, looks very, very nice. You can't really say that with uh, um, all distributions. They really took, take a lot of personal care and time in the appearance of their distribution. Um, they really micromanage it. So, so Mint X is, is amazing. The icons, of, again, are Mint X, which if, uh, is based off of uh, the Fainza group of uh, icons. Moving right along, uh, let's check out some of the other new features here. We've got the Mint Display Ma Manager, which is a greeter, um, a login greeter. It's okay. I mean, the default one's a little bit on the ugly side, but the cool thing is, is if you're a web developer, you can easily build a HTML5 greeter that's customized just for you. So if you really want to show off, you could have a login screen that is uh, built like a you know high-end website. Why not? Uh, some of the cool features, of course, are improvements they've made to software sources. So let's check out the software sources. Excuse my pounding on the keyboard. Uh, my microphone is close to my trackpad, so it picks up everything. So as you can see, not only do you get to see all these um, mirrors, but if you sit here long enough, it will uh, test every single mirror and give you a relative speed. So you can go in and select the mirrors that are best for your location, whether it's the Mint Packages mirror or the Ubuntu uh, Packages uh, mirror. And that will ensure a much faster um, search for packages and updates. I find it works wonderfully. So what else do we got here? The driver manager is a lot easier to work with than Ubuntu. So I don't have any proprietary, uh, or I don't have an uh, NVIDIA graphics card, but if you did have an NVIDIA graphics card or a unique Wi-Fi card that uh, isn't um, optimized out of the box, you could uh, add the drivers here. It'll search the device and then give you options as to um, what to uh, to pick from. The software manager is sped up a little bit, so let's take a look. And so while I'm at it, let's pull up the software manager. Do do do. I'm 
I'm going to just go ahead and add age top just for the heck of it. So it feels like it's a little bit faster than it's been in the past. I Okay, I take it back. It is running a little bit um, slower here. There we go. So the downloads are supposed to be faster than they've been in the past, but if you really want to speed things along super quick, just go ahead and do an apt uh, get over in your uh, terminal and you're good to go. So what good is a video without showing you guys my currently in use resources here? So let's check it out. Not too shabby for capturing video under 800 megs. Oh, take it back. But as you can see, this is uh, swimming light right along. So if you're uh, new to Linux and you're looking for an alternative to um, Ubuntu, Linux Mint is usually the first place you'll go. And uh, I'd suggest if you're looking for a more traditional desktop environment, XFCE is uh, a wonderful place to start. This, the Cinnamon desktop environment is amazing, but um, you know, if, if, if you don't want the extra uh, special effects and the window effects of Cinnamon, you could always go with uh, XFCE. It's a great alternative to the GNOME Classic, and uh, it's extremely stable. And unlike Ubuntu, for whatever reason, I constantly get these Nautilus errors that pop up out of nowhere saying I had some sort of problem with Nautilus. I just ignore them now. But uh, I've never had, I've been working on this on two or three days, I haven't had a single problem. It's been extremely stable. I haven't tried Steam on it or anything, but um, I am running it in my on my hardware. And uh, it's just a damn perfect uh, operating system. I know this was the second uh, uh, a desktop environment or operating system I used uh, after I switched from Ubuntu. I was using Ubuntu for about six months back in uh, the nine, nine, ten days. And uh, when I finally realized there was more than just Ubuntu out there, I, I jumped on Linux Mint. And I was on that for uh, a few months, then I moved over to Arch just to see what that was like. But now that I've been using Linux for about uh, four years now, um, I'm more uh, interested in distro hopping as you can see here as well as uh, going in and and going for the more stable um, distributions that get released less often so not to say that uh, Arch is um, unstable or anything uh, but uh, you know once you've invested a ton of time setting it up you really don't want to uh, worry about destroying it that said you could always throw in clonezilla you could update less frequently do a ton of things. I'm getting off topic. Linux Mint, awesome distribution, solid. Uh, if you want something more stable than the Ubuntu version, I could tell you that the uh, Linux Mint Debian edition on my desktop is amazing. I've been running into some sort of weird installation issue with uh, Debian edition on my System76 laptop here. I might try it again in the future. This is a rolling release, so uh, if you guys are looking for a Debian-based rolling release distro, uh, Linux Mint is awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.